Hi, this is the, um, the third video I've done in, in this little series of short videos about how to get the best out of this Fuji camera, the, um, the SL240-300 uh, range. And uh, some of the S range as well is quite similar in the software, so they can be used as well. Anyway, the, uh, the M manual, um, this is what we're going to discuss, is found under the M on the dial um, and we can do quite a lot with uh, this uh, mode um, it's it's really good um, and most shots can be achieved by by using this so anyway we've uh, I was, this is just what I've been using it on anyway because I was out night shooting the other, the other night um, seven seconds and that's the shutter speed and there's here the f3.1 this here is what I've got an issue with which is aperture um, even in manual mode it's not full manual uh, with that however it's it's only a slight problem really um, uh, used in aperture mode it's, it's hopeless really as I've, I've mentioned in a, another video so anyway how we change this uh, setting um, it's quite a dark day really today so but we, we just go down like that and there's the the meter thing here that's about um, where you need to be approximately around about that a little bit more and you'll get your, your shots there um, to change the F thing um, the aperture mode that's just F3.1 to F8 and this is what I do have an issue with it's not full manual it should go through all the stops from 3.1 3.4 and, and onwards and upwards like that but it doesn't it just has the two stops it's the same when you zoom the camera um, it just has either f9 and f20 when it's fully zoomed and things like that so it's not really great but anyway uh, apart from that I, I do I actually like the camera I think it's it's really good all in all it is a really good um, budget user-friendly uh, camera um, other things we can do with with this to to improve our shots is on the ISO there it's uh, 64 which means that it's going to be crystal clear without any grain 64 is very low we can we can change that without um, without much problems to anything 400 and uh, downwards is, is good anyway so I usually change it from using the F uh, button there you can actually use the the menu and the um, the OK button going through it that way uh, changing the ISO by that you can do it that way um, going up uh, 400 will be really useful anything above that and it really gets too noisy or, or too grain uh, so 400 and down 400 200 164 are fine when it's at 400 the shutter speed uh, speeds up so when we go in there it was uh, if we change that and down again we can I think it was about 13 there so you can actually use oops use, use around 50 60 and get a, a very decent shot there so you, you can change the uh, the white balance again as I've, I've mentioned in other videos is that I don't uh, I don't really bother with the um, the white balance, but you know it, it can help because of the the conditions. For example, inside today is very very dark, um, so something like if if the light was on, fluorescent, uh, fluorescent two, and fluorescent three, incandescent, and uh, or, or you can actually have a custom uh, one there. I'm not an expert in that, but uh, yeah. So all in all, the uh, shooting mode, uh, sorry, the manual mode is is a really uh, a useful um, a useful mode to have. Uh, it's great for all sorts of shots. If you want uh, fast shutter speed, uh, you can change change that. Um, so fast shutter speed and also night shots. I'm going to do a video on night shots um, because I've I've been out with a camera. I've tested it quite extensively, and I've found that the shots using uh, manual mode are, are very good on that but I'll do another video on the night shooting specifically um, but all in all the the few videos I've done here I've done three or four um, including the review on it 
And I actually think it's it's a really nice camera. I think that um, people who are, are maybe it's like stepping up from just a like normal compact camera without any um, or, um, manual modes, uh, I think this would be a really good buy. And for for the price, you can't really beat it. You know, and there's uh, there's, there's a lot of cameras uh, called bridge cameras are uh, sub DSLRs, and I think that um, the this one would be a really good buy. It's it's probably um, I've I've owned about three other Fujis, and I would say this one really knocks the socks off for all of them. So um, yeah, any questions, or comments, um, criticism, even. <laughs> and uh, anyway, thank you for watching.